Hey guys, it's Magda. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I did a couple check-ins today. Just wanted to say hi again. We're doing a little, little circuit just to keep moving around a little bit. I already warmed up on my elliptical and we're just going to do a little ab action, a little practice for the push-up. And I just wanted to say hello. Um, one concerning thing that I've noticed here that I have to start addressing is I think I frown way too much. And these two lines have become so prominent, I swear, like in the le less than one month. Um, these lines were not here like a month ago. I, I would have noticed because this is really concerning. And I don't want to do Botox or anything, but I wonder if there's anything we can do just naturally, do some face massage or whatnot. It's really bothering me. Look at that. I must frown all day long. I want to be in a constant state of surprise from now on. Okay, guys? Well, not too surprised because then I'll get this wrinkle. Just kind of surprised. And kind of suspicious at the same time. <laughs> That's my personality anyway. <laughs> anyway, oh my God, you guys. Um, thank you for being here. It's Sunday afternoon. We're going to do a little circuit together. Then I'm going to do a few more circuits by myself. And um, I'm going to go for my walk later. But be after the circuit, like a little motivation, we're going to do the scratch ticket at the end of this circuit. So who knows? You know, I may be like a multimillionaire and I don't even know it yet. Let me set you guys up and I'll be right back. We're just having fun today, moving around a little bit. So I wanted to do some punches. And these are my amazing pink Everlast gloves. And they've seen better days. I'm kind of sad that this is the way they look because I've had them in like a pouch that they came in. But I haven't taken them out, to be honest with you, in at least a couple years. The Velcro on it is great. It's, I mean, they're brand new. But what happened when I took them out of the pouch, they stuck to the pouch. Um, I had them in my walk-in closet and my walk-in closet upstairs here in this apartment easily gets to 120 degrees in the summer, 115 I would say, because my bedroom gets up to like 90 and the closet is like kind of insulated and on its... In, in its own little area, like closed off from the rest of the bedroom. So none of the AC even gets in there. So if I had to guess like 115 easily, maybe 120. So unfortunately my gloves paid the price. I just conditioned them with leather conditioner because I love these gloves. They're so girly, but they're so tough. Anyway, in the future, I'd love to have like um, a, a punching bag um, so these are still totally usable. I'm just going to keep conditioning them. Unfortunately, they're just a little torn up, but they're still in. Oh, they're dropping some. Oh, look at that. That's all right. Oh, well, sorry. I got some stuff on me, <laughs> but anyway, I mean, they're still, they still feel good. They still, still feel like they got a lot of cushion and protection. The Velcro is still good. Um, the elastic here is still good. It's just that they lost a little paint. It's all right. I've conditioned them, they're okay. So I just wanted to start with a few punches because we haven't done these in a while and they're just like stupid fun. They're a good stretch. So I thought for today, they would be like a good way to start. I'd love to have a punching bag. I really want one. Like a big hanging one, like, like you know, they're like 200 pounds like a big sandbag. I'd love to get into like some kind of a boxing, kickboxing type of a situation. That's an amazing workout. Oh, these are just such a good stretch, guys. They feel really good. My shoulders, I've been working them so hard with the push-ups and everything. This feels amazing right now, to be honest. <clears throat> we have one more day tomorrow. So excited. I just need my Tuesday. I just need this Tuesday off so badly. Not that it's going to be like a lay on the couch kind of a day. Um, we got a lot to do, but I just want to get this done. There's a lot we got to do that day. Oh, this one first. I want to do. Oh my God. This feels so good on your back. 
right here. What a stretch. Silly exercise, it looks silly, but it feels so great. I haven't touched base with my um, friend yet to see if we're walking together. I don't know if I'm gonna do a brisk walk or if I'm doing my walk jog tonight. I'm, I'm up for anything, so. Great day at work today, guys. What a fun day. And my patient who was so upset yesterday was, we had a great day today. I, I knew today was gonna be better. Like, I just miss him and I don't know if part of him misses me too. And I was gone for like, you know, nearly a month. So it's kind of like, it might be a part of it subconsciously for the both of us. So it was really, really, really nice to reconnect, have some good talks. Um, I'm really thinking about going vegan again for a little while. I did veganism for two years and uh, I've been listening uh, forever, like for the past few years, I've been listening to Michael, Dr. Michael Greger on the plant-based diet and I don't know, kind of thinking about it. My best friend Erica, she wants to go like, um, she doesn't, she wants to go plant-based but she needs protein from what? From dairy and eggs. She's, she says she wants to go plant-based for the most part, but um, she had gastric bypass and she has trouble assimilating any sort of like, or a lot of the vitamins and um, she has trouble assimilating protein. So um, veggie, veggies and beans make it, I think a little harder to get the protein that you need um, so she wants to be plant-based with like beans and everything, but she still wants to have dairy um, and eggs. She has her own chickens, the mo probably the most spoiled chickens in the world, you know? All they have to do is hang out and look cute, and they have the best food and a whole backyard, and they're best friends with them, BFFs. And So she wants to keep doing that, but I was vegan for two years, not that long ago, like seven years ago, like stuff is popping up in my Facebook feed from about seven, between seven and eight years ago, because I did it for a couple years. All my vegan recipes that I was po posting on Facebook, so they're popping up in my memories. So, um, I don't know. Just thinking about it for a little, little bit, maybe a little bit of time, maybe like start with like three months and then just go from there. I don't like to overwhelm myself these days anymore. All right, punches, good. All right. <sighs> My favorite, Russian twists. I don't know why I do these, but I do these. Guys, sorry, this is from my gloves. I'm like covered in stuff from my gloves. Sorry about that. I'm gonna condition those gloves a few more times and I think they'll stop, stop dropping that stuff, the powder. They're just old right now. They're feeling old like me dried up and old. Oh, Russian twist. They're like this. Okay. That was 10. Do another 10. Just doing this to move around a little bit today, guys. A rest day is not really a rest day. Oh, I distracted myself. Rest day is just a little break from lifting actual weights. Okay, 20. I think next is the push-up. Yeah. All right, hold on. I didn't set up my stool. I'll be right back. Uh, what's today? The 4th? 
I don't know, today might be the last day that we're practicing this. <clears throat> Was perfect. We better kill it today because I think today is the last day. And today is not even one of the days that we were supposed to be doing this. We got to get this right today, guys. Those were actually, both of those were perfect. I'm psyched. Let me just stretch for a second. Okay, two more in this little bit. Awesome. We're getting somewhere. I don't know where, but we're getting somewhere. Perfect. I'm psyched. So we're definitely getting some muscle strength. Um, some tricep dips. Well, boy, I had brilliant ideas today. It's difficult today. Oh, that's enough. Ouch. That was kind of painful. Okay, guys, a few donkey kicks. blood flowing a little bit. going for 10 um, on each uh, 20 on each side ten more. Okay, I think we got the push-up next. Yep. A couple more after this, and this is this will be our circuit. First, you'll have to unlock your device. Oh, someone's talking to me. All right. Such a seemingly simple move. It's not that easy. One more. Not too bad. Not too bad. Definitely progress. 
just a few sit-ups, so I'm going to move you guys just a tiny bit over. Uh, maybe over here. All right. Stretch the little back a little bit. Okay. Gee, guys, give me some good vibes. I can't even tell you how much $10,000 would make, how much of a difference it would make. Sit-ups, uh, side bends with weights. Okay, side bends with weights. We haven't done these in forever. We'll do the 20 pound weight because I think our obliques are pretty strong. Uh, obviously I'm hoping for, you know, 10 million on the scratch ticket, but uh, let me see. 20 pounds. I wonder, <laughs> can we double up? Can we do this or is this illegal? Is this illegal? I don't know. Oh, I think that's illegal. You know why? Because I think the counterweight on the other side is helping you pull this up. So no, one at a time. That makes sense. Anyway, $10 million, yes, please, thank you. But man, $1,000, of course, I mean, thank you. I take that. Will it make a dent? Yeah. But man, $10,000 $10, dollars would make a huge dent. These are good. <coughs> Excuse me. We haven't done these in a really, in like, I think we've only done them once. These feel good too. These are kind of nice. What? Oh, the last thing is just one more push up practice. So that's the circuit, just to move around a little bit, you guys, just to keep our body moving and limber. And the more like, the older I get, the more I understand that I have to stay limber. I have to stay flexible. Um, when you lift weights, you put stress on the bones, which makes the bones stronger. And that's super important as we age. So being bendy, bendy that's a medical term right being bendy <laughs> flexible and having muscle because muscle like like i said the tension of the muscle against the bone forces the bone to build strength and we lose bone mass especially women ladies as we age we lose bone mass we get brittle bones and we fall over and it's broken hip game over see you see you in the nursing home no, thank you. So weightlifting for sure. Flexibility. I want to get into yoga for sure. 
I want to be healthy till my 90s. I want to hit my 90s still lifting weights and doing yoga. There's no reason why I can't. I am healthy. I have a few pounds to lose. I'm on my way. All I need to do is keep flexible and keep strong and keep a good diet. That's it. These are good actually. I don't want to stop doing these. Um, we're going to definitely include these in the future. Okay guys, one more push up practice for this cycle and then uh, we do our scratch ticket. For $10 million, guys. Yay. Yep, yep, yep. Awesome. <clears throat> so far, these have been pretty, pretty surprising and pretty flawless. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, tomorrow, September 5th, we start the third phase of working towards a push-up. We're completing phase two today, guys. One more. Good. I'm very happy with those. Guys, it's scratch ticket time. Okay, guys, here we go. So this is one of these again. 15, up to 15 million. So that's what we're going for today, right? Oh, these are the bonus numbers. Let's play those first. So we got to find the coins at the bottom. A bell. Uh, emerald. A moon. Cherries. And a ring. So at the bottom we got no coins. Alright, so let's go to the actual game. Nothing. 28 is the first number. 43. Nope. 34. Nope. 4. And 7. Nope. 19. 24. 13. 17. 35. Nothing so far, guys. 21. 44. 1. 36. 18. 9. 11. 37. 47. 42. Nothing yet, guys. 8, 26, 46, 27, 22, 45, 15, 16, 33, and 23. Meh. Too bad, guys. Not a winner this week. Oh, well. That's all right. We'll try again next week. Anyway, I'm going to keep on moving around a little bit, do a little more stretching and whatnot. And thank you guys so much for being here. And I will catch up with you guys on Instagram, Facebook, 
and I will see you guys so soon. Bye.